We're calling it SockTheMoneyPipeline.com, and it's a, like a coalition of all the environmental groups in the country, and then, and, uh, and, and was talking about it. April 23rd, the second day, the middle day of this three-day commemorative, so first day, Earth Day, we're all going to march, we're all going to commemorate Earth Day and think about what good people did to get things going and what we need to do and so on. And then the day after, we're going to start in on the next 50 years of this problem, okay, this crisis. And we're going to start by going after the money. And the biggest target that day, where we need your help, is a bank called J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay? Uh, they're the biggest bank in the world, and they're the biggest fossil fuel lender by far. They've lent, since the Paris Climate Accords, $196 billion to the fossil fuel industry. They're the biggest lender by far for every bad thing you can think of, every pipeline across uh, Indian country, every, uh, you know, um, deep sea drilling, tar sands, on and on and on, that's them. Why are they the biggest? I just wrote another piece for Rolling Stone that came out online last week called the Doomsday Bank. And it turns out that one of the answers to that question of why they're especially irresponsible, even compared to the other banks, which are all doing their best to be irresponsible, must be said, but <laughs> the best at it is Chase. And why? Well, so the guy who was, the guy who was CEO of Exxon in the 80s and 90s and kind of invented corporate climate denial, the guy right at the moment when they knew what was going on, but he, you know, that guy, when he retired from Exxon, his retirement job was to become chair of the board at J.P. Morgan Chase. Um, so, you know, we, we talk about Climate, oh, everybody's causes climate change. Look, this guy is the Bond villain there, you know, sitting there stroking the cap while the you know, <laughs> world explodes around him. It's crazy, and we need your help. So we're also going to pull the one other lever in the world, not just the political lever, but the financial one. And in certain ways, it's an easier lever to pull, or maybe a more useful one, because A, these things happen fast when they happen. You know, when the CEO of BlackRock made that announcement, people in every stock market around the world knew it within minutes and were reacting to it, okay? And it happens globally, all at once. We can change Washington, but Washington, pretty much, thank heaven, doesn't really rule the world anymore quite the way it used to, but Wall Street sort of kind of still does. So it's a place where we can really dig in, you know? Um, You'd be surprised how many of you have Chase credit cards in your wallet. <laughs> if you've got an Amazon card or a United Airlines card, yeah, you know, it probably comes from Chase. And the good news is, every single one of you who has Chase card in your wallet also has a pair of scissors in your kitchen drawer. <laughs>